morning you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's vlog i'm going to do a little vlog today i have been trying to get back into working out after losing gyra i had to like wait six weeks i didn't i don't think i i was supposed to wait six weeks they were treating it as if like i had just went through like a normal labor i was feeling really great really shortly after and so obviously i'm in the clear it's been way over six weeks so i am trying to get back into working out and being more active because that's something that really helped me after I had Ari. I remember that was probably like the most fit I'd ever been and the most I had ever prioritized like my physical self in my motherhood. It's just the, to me, it's honestly just the easiest thing to put off. It's the easiest thing to want to do something else instead. And I think it's just so important to work out. So I wanted to share this app that I got because I have searched high and low. So I have done Pilates where you like literally go into the studio and they have the reformer I really loved that like honestly to me that's like number one if I had an option to do one thing for the rest of my life like that would be it but it's really expensive the classes book up really quickly and the times are not convenient like the earliest the class would start is like seven and that's too late for me like I like to be done working out by seven and so sometimes they had classes but it'd be like 5 a.m. and I'm like all right I think five is a little bit of a stretch too because I like to work before I go so like this morning I work once I'm done with that then I get in whatever workout I want to do so anyway I'm just kind of sharing the backstory of like the dilemmas I've had so I canceled my membership at the studio and then I was doing at home Pilates but the instructor I was following a lot of the stuff that she was starting to mention was just a little bit too new age for me she used a lot of crystals she used a lot of just poses that were about energy and zen and vibes and that kind of language that I just for a while it didn't bother me and then like I don't know after doing it a certain amount of times I was like okay this is like I personally started to feel convicted so I had friends who also had done her stuff and felt convicted about it too and had stopped like years ago and so I wasn't like the only one that was seeing this so I stopped doing that but I've not been able to find something since then I've searched high and low and I specifically wanted Pilates but I found this app and this is not sponsored I'm just genuinely sharing it it's called better me and they have like a whole category of like different I don't know if it's gonna show up on the screen but they have like a whole category of different workouts and then whenever you click on one of them then it has a bunch so like they have wall pilates which i want to do and then there's like a bunch of different wall pilates anywhere between 20 minutes to 10 minutes you can pick like how hard it is how easy it is and then my favorite part that i didn't realize until yesterday when i went to do it for the first time but you can choose your background music which is like sounds like such a stupid thing but it makes such a big deal if you don't like listening to boring music while you work out. So I love that I'm able to just go in and put in my own music. So yeah, I put on my little playlist. You can link it to your Apple Music or you can link it to your Spotify. There's like different options. So I'll just put on, I, Melanie made this like summer playlist that's just like fun, cute Christian music that's like upbeat and whatnot. So that's what I put on. I finished the video that is going up on Wednesday so the video would already been out it's Jordan and I talking about regretting getting married young and the stuff that we have learned from getting married at 20 years old so that will be linked down below I didn't bring the monitor out here with me because Jordan is inside but I just have a feeling the kids are awake it's 7 16 which to me is too late because I should already be done with my morning chores but the video that I posted today ended up taking me an hour and a half to edit when normally it should take me a video like that I already knew that there wasn't it's not a vlog it was just like a sit down video normally those videos should only take me 30 minutes to watch and go through and like add my little touches to it just because my editor does such a great job that those videos normally don't take me that long but that video took me an hour and a half so I'm feeling a little behind schedule today <laughs> a little outfit check today this is what I'm wearing I have this dress in like two other prints it's one of my favorite styles of dresses because it just goes with everything it's from Amazon and the other one that I have is you can't really see the pattern on this one but it has like really cute little like daisies on it and then the other pattern I have is also like a cream or a white and then it has pink flowers on it but I just love this style of dress I find that it's just so versatile and so comfortable because the top is like 
the perfect length and because it's tight right here when I bend over I don't have to worry about anything because some dresses like they're modest when you're standing up and then if you move a little bit too much like it tends to like kind of fall forward but this one because it's tight right here that doesn't happen and so that's just really convenient and just something to know especially if you have kids and you're just in the season of like up and down and up and around and all that stuff but then I also like the versatility of the sleeves I love how they're a little bit puffy it makes it feel a little bit more classy but then you can wear them like this I personally just don't like that because it's very uncomfortable but you can have it more hiked up up here or just slightly down here or all the way down obviously we got such a cute little dress and then I love the fit right here because again when it comes to modest clothing I think it's hard to balance the line between still being modest and feminine and keeping your shape versus just being modest and like looking at potato like a potato sack because there are some modest clothing that like will not show your shape at all and I think you can still feel feminine and still like show that you have a waistline without it being immodest and so I found that like dresses like this are really good at doing that because it still accentuates your waist it makes you feel feminine but then it's not revealing it's not tight there's nothing that's like really drawing your eyes to it so I found that like a dress like this has been the chef's kiss to all that but I've been loving wearing dresses every you guys, every single day when I get dressed, I will go downstairs and I twirl for all my kids and they all giggle and they all laugh. It's like the highlight of their day being able to see mom twirl in whatever dress she's wearing that day. It's like a really fun little tradition that we've made, but I'm going to finish getting ready. Okay, let me put you, let me put y'all on a tripod. When I got ready this morning, I like to do my skincare well, just because it's been new with me working out. I actually like to do my skincare before I work out. I don't really sweat that much, especially since like I'm doing Pilates. It's not like I'm running a half marathon or running like X amount of miles. So I don't feel like I sweat off whatever I put on. But this morning I did put on these two. So I did the dewy day cream and then I also got the hyper glow so last time that I worked with dime and thank you again to them for sponsoring this video I showed you guys the products that like tried and true the ones that I use every single day and just our chef's kiss that just I always use but I would like to add one more to that because this was one that I used a lot which was the hyper glow but then I ran out of it totally forgot to restock it and then I was on their website a couple weeks ago and I was like, oh my gosh, I used to love this thing. So I did get it again. And that's what is like giving my skin this like really glowy look right now because it is a antioxidant and brightening. So after washing your face, apply drops in the morning and night to the face and area. And it's just, it's so nice. So I'll apply this and then I apply the dewy day cream on top. And I do have a code for dime. It's Melena YouTube 20. Um, I also have it written out on the screen and link down below but you can get 20% off site-wide so you can bundle things together that's what I recommend just because then that way you get more for your buck because you're able to do the 20% off plus whatever that bundle is already taken off and their stuff is clean they are vegan glass which is my favorite thing the packaging is really good like the best way to describe dime is that you have like luxury skincare without the luxury price tag and so I've just I've just used it for so long it's just it's just a staple at this point I've used it so much you guys that if I try to divert from this routine I break out and my skin reacts like it has just done my skin so well that I cannot divert from it I'm serious I had this really really nice company send me really nice products it was like a PR package I didn't even request it they had just sent it and I tried their stuff out because I've heard amazing things about it it's like the, one of the top skincare things and I was like let me try it. it was like one there was one specific product that I remember like had gone viral several times and I wanted to try it and you guys my skin broke out I had a bunch of tiny little pimples here like it was my skin just did not like it so I just stick to my tried and true which is done so I will link all that goody stuff down below for you all right so for my face today I'm going to put on for my base I'm putting on their sunscreen I need to order another one because I am just about out this is the wonder screen but the tinted version of it and I use this as my base like I don't use anything else on top of it or like well I'll put bronzer and stuff on but this is like my base. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've shared that I've been doing this thing that I was inspired by my friend Nava to do, which is to put a limit on the amount of products you can buy in a year. So for this year, I'm only buying five makeup products. And with that, 
I'm also including PR. So because I've tried to eliminate myself off of so many different companies' PRs because it can get, be a little overconsumed, like it just feeds into overconsumerism. And a lot of the times it was stuff that I genuinely didn't really need or necessarily like, and I'd end up giving it to my girlfriends. And like, I just felt like it wasn't, it was doing more harm than good. Let me fix this lighting. Much better. So anyway, I had requested and gotten myself removed off of quite a lot of PR. So I'm at the point where I don't receive a lot of PR unless it's from like sometimes brands I don't know sometimes they still will send stuff and so what I've done because of the way that my job works and because I am sent certain products that I might necessarily want if I end up using that so said product and actually end up really liking it then that is a product I will add to like my five products for the year so a great example of that is this thing by dibs it's a blush and bronzer combo so i got sent this with a bunch of their different colors but i specifically used this one and so i've added this to my list so if you're curious as to what is currently on my list of i've bought three so far i bought this which was sent to me again but due to the nature of my job i'm saying that i like bought this this is my one item this is the blush this is my brow product that i'm using and then what was my third thing wait i don't think i bought the third one i think i've only bought two because i was supposed to buy a concealer because i had ran out of the one that i was using which was the nars one and when i went to go repurchase one i was gonna get the kosas one but then i searched like my little stash of makeup that i don't really use anymore and i still had some of this tart one left so i'm currently trying to use this up before buying a third one i'm pretty sure because nothing else that's in here is new or like something that i haven't had for years so maybe i just bought two if my memory stands correct and trust me my memory fails me a lot anyway i want to encourage any of you out there to do something similar because i have found that it has made things just so much easier because there's always going to be new products there's always going to be new foundation there's always going to be something new that you're going to want to be inclined to buy but i want to encourage you to use up what you already have and just stick to what you know already before Is this driving anyone else crazy anyway i'm going to keep it just really simple 99 percent of the time i will do some type of concealer or corrector just because my under eyes do get pretty dark. Next thing I'm going to do is bronzer. I use this one by Refi. It's cream and I have hit pan on it, but the other one that I had lasted me so long and it really does, like you just do one dab and I swear you're able to do your whole face with it. This is definitely, whenever this runs out, I already know this will be a product that I repurchase because it's just one that I love so much. Next guy is the Dibs one. The shade, gosh, ooh, hold on. I wanna look at it because I always get questions about the shade and it's so small that it is so difficult to read mood boost and you do you okay the blush shade is you do you it's such a pretty shade it's very dark and not something i would normally get but when you use your fingers so i always apply it with both my fingers it just blends into the skin so well if you can see it's probably really picking it up on camera but it's very glowy and just makes your skin look very youthful and hydrated. Okay, next thing to curl my eyelashes. This eyelash curler I have had for so long. It's literally $1.99, I get it at Target. It's so affordable and it's truly the best one that you can buy. What can we do different next time? It's okay to want things, but you can't take something from someone else. You can ask if you can have it when they're done. So, write it down, okay? I think referee, mediator, biblical encourager, biblical reader are all things that should be added to a mother's uh, resume because those are things that I find myself doing all day long. But I think that it's super important, especially when it comes to our children, to really help steward and help equip and guide their relationship with their siblings. Because I think a lot of times parents, without even realizing it, actually end up being the reason why their siblings and them don't like each other or don't get along. Because it's like a pinpoint of like, your brother does this, you do this. Like they do that unintentionally or not realizing the impact that that has in that 
that child's mind. Anyway, that's a side note. I'd love to do a video talking about how I tried to help my children really store their relationship with their siblings and really genuinely love each other and have an appreciation for each other instead of pinning them against each other. So if that is a video that you are interested in, let me know down below because the relationship that my children have with each other, at least my oldest two, is so beautiful and I it's such a blessing to witness. Obviously they have their moments, but within those moments, the after fact of how they do come together and the after of how much they truly do love each other and yeah, the mediation that happens after I think is really beautiful. So the last thing I'm putting on is this brow product and it's from Amazon. It's a very affordable one. I think it's nine or $8 and it's very, very similar to the refi one, which is one I previously was using, but the refi one I think is $26 or something. So I'd much rather spend eight on a product than 26. Okay, great. And then the last thing is my hair. I wore my hair natural. I already put some oil in it. I have this one product from day that I really, really love that is like a curl not gel but it's just like this nice spray that you can put on your curls to help rehydrate them and just give them a little volume and i don't know where i'll put it can't find it it's not anywhere to be found okay, i'm gonna put some of this in very humid here so i feel like i just i always need a little something to help done done and that is all that I will do for myself in a day. After this, it's done. I don't care what I look like after this. It like, that's just, I try to set myself up for success. I try to take care of myself in the morning, physically working out by getting myself put together, but then I'm hot. That's why I keep putting my hair up. I think that's my biggest issue with wearing my hair down. I get so much hotter. But as the day goes on and stuff, I truly just don't care. I can just get tossed out the door for all I care. Morning chores, I need to unload the dishwasher. I already folded clothes from yesterday. I already started today's load. I just need to unload the dishwasher. And then I really want some coffee. Some coffee sounds really good right now. God asked Noah to build a very big boat. It no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Don't get the coins, okay? Don't get the coins. 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 Don't David and Goliath activities that they wanted to bring upstairs and then once that got brought upstairs Then my baby wanted something and then I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna change her and get her dressed for the day did that all while that's happening the children that I the activities I had set for my children to be doing while I was doing my quiet time had been completed and done 20 minutes prior to that So now here I am about to sit down and we're supposed to be heading out the door <laughs> So I'm gonna take this to go and that's just like a peek into a mother. And if you are a
So what I constantly have to remind myself is that like my whole day consists of like what is a priority and what is not a priority. So like in this moment right now, cleaning up the playroom is not a priority. Coffee is a priority. Coffee is a priority. Getting this is also a priority to make sure that I have it with me. Another thing that I'm very thankful for that I already do is I always have the diaper bag inside the car. So like in a time like this where I are supposed to be running out the door, it's a blessing because I'm saving myself time because I don't have to fully pack a diaper bag right now or at least like for the baby, like grab her formula and stuff. The only thing I have to grab is a bottle with some water in it. So that's just saving me a little bit of time. But yeah, just in that season where there's always a whole lot going on. All right, it has been several hours. We had a fun little outing with the kids. We actually ended up having a house meeting. And so where our builder, his office is, is really close to another play place that the kids love. So we did a meeting and then we just took the kids to go play for a little bit. And now I'm about to do a like midday house pick up. I feel like I frequently get asked how I maintain and keep the house more tidy. And that is my secret. My secret is I do several full house pickups and I also do several things in the morning. I mean, you guys have seen, I've like shared it so many times, but like, because we have two floors, like upstairs in the morning, I always make sure to pick up the kids room, our room, just like do just like a general sweep of a spot before moving on to the next thing. And I feel like if you always implement, don't leave a room until you clean a room, if you constantly implement that throughout the day, it never really gets to a point where it's overwhelming to pick up because the cleanup is really minimal. And once we moved into this home as well, well, we extremely decluttered and have extremely like got rid of a lot of stuff and so everything has a home and so it's a lot easier to clean up when things have homes and you just don't have an excessive amount I've just noticed that since our kitchen is attached to the playroom which is right up front in front of me there's like a step that divides like the kitchen area to the playroom where previously in our old house our playroom was upstairs on the second floor in a loft area so like our downstairs area always felt cleaner because we didn't have to Toys there the kids can only play with their toys in the playroom same with this space for majority of the time like they do play in the playroom sometimes they'll like if they're playing pretend or something and they like bring their animals out like they can do that obviously I'm not gonna say no to that but it's not like we have toys all everywhere if that makes sense like we do have some books there we have some upstairs in the room but for the majority of the stuff it's in the playroom so anyway once we moved into this house I felt like unless the playroom was cleaned a lot of the other spaces in the house didn't feel clean and so I have been very diligent about making sure that I keep the playroom with the amount of toys that they have and just keeping that easy for them to ex like access and maintain because my kids clean up their own playroom. Another rule that I started implementing was that if they do not pick up their toys after themselves, then that tells me that that toy is not important because it's on the floor. And like, I don't know, I'm trying to instill and show them very early on how we take care of the things that the Lord has given us for us to steward. I think that's a really easy thing to show them even with their toys because the possessions that my kids have are their toys. And so I want to show them how they can care for their toys and make things long, last and have longevity and show them like, like, yes, we sure when we go to the store, there's like a bunch of really cool things, but we have X, Y, and Z at home that is also really cool. And so anyway, I think the idea of rotating toys and frequently donating toys and moving a toy on to another child that is going to love on it even more. A lot of these like little things that and patterns that I've been trying to establish with our kids and their toys has really shown them how to appreciate what you have and not let things go. Because I think some there is an element that I think like letting your house go or letting things go and not taking care of what you have can be a direct correlation to not being thankful because if you're thankful for something you take care of it if you enjoy something and are happy to have something you take care of it i think there definitely is a line that shows not taking care of what you have comes off as ungrateful and so anyway that was like a whole spiel for a whole lot but i started implementing this rule where if the kids do not pick up their toys once they're done playing and it's left there for hours that tells me that that toy is no longer important to them or they don't value that toy as much and so i take the initiative to pick up that toy and donate it to another child that might like it and you guys might think that's harsh and it does sound a little bit harsh but i think it's truly has been one of the ways that i've been truly able to communicate to them what it means to take care of something especially because they are 
so young, um, I have not had to donate a single thing because as soon as I remind them of that rule, they remember, oh yes, this toy is important to me. I value this. I'm not just gonna leave it on the floor because if, in case you guys didn't know, we have two dogs, two giant dogs that love my kids' toys. And so if a toy does get left, like train tracks, if train tracks get left on the ground um, and they're done playing with it, we've moved on and they're napping, my dogs will come and eat their train tracks. My kids have lost so many of their train tracks because my dogs will eat them. They'll eat like the edge of them and then they won't clash into each other or like click in So that's another thing we have a young baby And so if things that are small that are left out while she and they're playing with it while she's napping Well, once she wakes up, they need to remember I need to put this away because my sister is awake So I think it instills a level of responsibility I'm trying to steer away from like fear of something being taken away But at the same time like we have that like fear of our responsibilities like if I don't take care of the fruit that I have and eat up the fruit that I have in my refrigerator there is that fear that it's gonna go bad and then I can't eat it anymore like I feel like there is a level of I don't want to use the word fear but maybe just like this knowing that something else can happen or I don't know Ugh. Oh, just made a bomb salad. I didn't grocery shop this week because I was out of town last week and we had a decent amount of stuff, but we've used up a lot of it. So I do need a grocery shop. So I kind of just made a salad using what I could find in the fridge and in the pantry. But anyway, once I'm done eating my salad, I'm gonna do a general pickup of the house. The only stuff that's in the playroom is actually stuff that my baby was playing with and she obviously can't pick up her own toys. So that's good. But the kitchen needs a little bit of some TLC. Two of the kids are napping. One is doing quiet time, which is so necessary and so needed for me and for them so needed i don't think i'll ever get rid of like quiet time or like just having them do their own thing for a little bit of time whether it's coloring for 30 minutes doing puzzles reading something i really 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 need that especially because i am more of an introvert and so sometimes all i need is silence and just kind of like a time in the middle of the day because right now it's one it's almost 1 30. i need just like a, a moment even if it's just 30 minutes to just kind of sit and not hear anything like do you do you hear i mean jordan's working out with his friend right now it's jordan's like lunch break but it's quiet i can like think and process spend my time with the lord the reason why i need to stop talking hold on i need to eat my salad <laughs> especially on the days that I work out. Oh, I just simply do not have the energy. And that's another reason why I always work out in the mornings because before I had kids, before I even got married, I always used to work out after school or like once I get home from work, but I just simply do not have the capability to do that. And so I'd much rather just work out first thing in the morning, use up the very little of energy that I have because I'm a morning person. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but I am a morning person. I naturally do wake up with more energy. So the side effect is that of that is that later in the afternoon I don't have quite the energy and I need a little mm, something something but I'm gonna fold up some laundry so funny not so funny story but very funny actually so this dress right here 
is the same dress as this, just in a different print. It used to be white with pink little flowers on it, but now it's pink with pink flowers on it. And it's really funny because I had shared this dress on my Instagram today and I was looking through their slides and like through the Amazon link and they have so many other patterns and they have a pink one with pink flowers on it, which would have literally looked just like this. And I was like, just having a conversation with Lord and I was like, Lord, that dress is so cute. Like I really would like it in that color or, but you know, I'm trying not to impulse buy. I'm trying to be more wise with my money. I already have this dress in two different colors. I'm just like literally talking with the Lord. And then I went to go do our laundry. And of course I threw in this dress on accident with this dress. And now this dress that was white is now pink and looks just like the other dress that I did want to get from Amazon. So there you go. Didn't even need to get a new one. I just made it myself. That is just so funny. Okay. Anyway, I'm folding today's load of laundry, which consists of some very random things. This dress is one of my favorites. It's also from Amazon, but it's so pretty and so classy. It has these two like little ties that you can do right here. And I always tie my bows a little bit more forward on the shoulders so that you can see them a little bit better. And it looks so darling. This is kind of a random load because I'm still trying to catch up on laundry since we've gotten back at, up from out of town. But we are going to be celebrating a birthday very soon. And I went to the thrift store yesterday to try to find some tablecloths because we're hosting it here and I didn't have enough. And I found this beautiful round one with the most beautiful detailing. It's like a scallop detailing for $2 in pink, which is the exact color I was looking for. Put it away. Ooh. And then I also found this one in yellow, which was another color I was looking for. Like, come on, which was also I think this one was $3, $3.99 or something. But I ended up finding exactly what I needed at the thrift store. And then I'll grab these two other little things that I found for decor to either put, to obviously use for the birthday, but then also I can use as decor in their bedrooms. But that just goes to show how it's always wise to see if you can find something secondhand first. One, because you'll save money, but then two, I find that it makes me more intentional about my purchases. Because sometimes I think if you can go on the internet and find absolutely any Anything possible it makes it a lot easier to do an impulse buy but if you are limiting yourself to what you can find in the store when you can find it in the store I find that it really helps me eliminates the impulse buys and you save money you're buying something secondhand so the longevity of a product is getting used up a lot more it's economically better there's just so many more benefits to this and I really wish it was more normalized because I surprisingly get quite a lot of backlash whenever I say that I go secondhand shopping which I feel like is so bizarre that's so weird to me like why wouldn't you want someone with a following to encourage other people to secondhand shop like that's just so weird to me but I will not stop thrifting I have always been a thrifter literally I one of my earliest memories is at the thrift store with my family and my mom and I've always done it literally all growing up right when Jordan and I got married like I've always been a thrifter so that ain't going nowhere because someone online told me I can't do it okay and then here are the other two things that I found that are perfect and very on theme I found this cute little bunny there were two other ones but they look too much like Easter to me so I thought just this one would be perfect if I pair it with like flowers and then look at this little basket it's ceramic but I plan on putting daisies in it and just like filling it and making it look like a whole basket full of flowers so I am very excited for that first birthdays are always my favorite so I'm gonna close out today's video I have quite a little bit of computer work to do now I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to leave my dime code and link down below again it gets you 20% off site-wide and bundles work within that so take advantage of that saving and that deal only if you need new skincare. Only if you're wanting to find something new. Don't just buy it just because you're impulsed or feel the need to. Only get it if you have an actual need and missing of it. So yeah, love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Be blessed.